All right, today I have a request for the band Te, uh, instrumental post rock band. That sounds fascinating. And this is from Kair Kafuka. I hope I'm saying that right. Let me know if I am. Uh, but the translation of this song is The convulsive beauty inside a sound exceeds the imagination. It's a wild shiver visiting the body. Interesting. Oh no. Their guitarist died from a medical condition last year and has been on hi- hiatus ever since. Dang. Sad. Um, but, alright. Let's check out the song. This is a really abstract sound, and now I really I gotta look at this title again. The convulsive beauty inside a sound exceeds the imagination. It's a wild shiver visiting the body. Okay, that really makes sense now. This is like the musical version of an abstract painting. Interesting time signatures. Okay. Wow. That bass going absolutely crazy in that part. The drums, the guitar. Really cool intro right there. And making the title make even more sense, I guess. But, dang, I just had to pause to take that all in. That was a lot. Oh, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. It, what? Okay, I gotta hear that part again. We're having six eights in there. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. This is the third song I've watched in this particular request filming session that has had an uh, an interesting time signature. One was six eight, one was seven eight, and then followed by a four four or eight eight. Uh, to like um, ease back into the four feel but that's so interesting this is the third time I've noticed this formula in their songwriting and it's a really good idea to have that one uh, measure at the end divisible by four that eases you in back to the song after you're playing with some odd time signatures 6-8 isn't really an odd time signature but it has the feel of an odd time signature if it's between signatures divisible by four um, so anyway, that was cool. All right. That snare work.
That's a good sound. This this part kind of has like a reggae feel to it. Very driven by the bass and the clean guitars doing some sparkly work around it. And especially the drums doing those triplet style. You know, that four on the floor reggae style drum pattern with the triplet snare fills. Like, but it's nothing like reggae at the same time. It's a very much experimental rock. Like, a cool blend of sound. Guess it's not four on the floor at all. That part was so cool. Really great use of dynamics, accentation in the drums during that big snare fill buildup. Really cool stuff. Really interesting how it took the last two notes of a guitar solo and then turned it into its own separate theme, its own separate part. Like, wow. Wow, what a fascinating sound. Again, very different, all instrumental, um, abstract music. Even in the title, you can tell it's going to be very artsy-fartsy, which I love in a cool way. Um, interesting. It's, it's literally a piece of art in the form of audio. Very nicely done. Well, thank you so much, Kairu Kafuka, for making this request. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, this is a different style of music. I don't think I've really heard anything like this. Like, a lot of the instrumental stuff I hear is more prog or cinematic. And this is very experimental. I guess there's some stuff I've heard like it, like Trico. Sogunenaru is kind of experimental like that. Um, but this is kind of a different animal. Very cool. Anyway, thank you so much for your request and your support on Patreon. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to make your own requests, you can join my Patreon or visit my website below, make a live stream request, which I do every Friday, or a regular request, just not as good of a deal as it does on Patreon. So that's where I'm going to wrap this up, and I'll talk to you all next time.